Hey, it's John the Net Guy, and today we're taking a look at the MP44Q from Team Group. So there we go. This is the drive. It's the same 2280 PCI Express Gen 4x4 here. So hold it right side up. It even helps better. And it has a graphene label. You see how it says graphene on the corner there? But the MP33 is one of my favorite and just all around best drives from Team Group. I can't tell you how many of those I've bought in over the years. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the MP44Q and then we're gonna take a look at the performance that we can expect from said drive. So to install it, you just put it in at a slight angle, push down, and then you install the world's smallest screw that goes between your RAM chips. So it is per, uh, showing that it has SLC caching, like I was telling you guys about before. So SLC caching makes it go a little faster. It's 3D QLC NAND. So this is quad level now, and it's a one terabyte unit here. Label with graphene, which is the graphene label, but it doesn't really do anything for the unit itself here. Uh, but let's go ahead and fire it up. We're gonna see how well it does. Test NVMe. Okay, so now we're gonna test the MP44Q through the same exact test. We're gonna see it run here. There's a very small amount of SLC cache. Now, when I say very small amount, it's a few gigabytes. And so this is not gonna stand up very long um, to this. So that's what we start out with. We're at 32, Six, um, so 3200 megs. We're gonna see what it ends up with as a final here in just a second. So sequential write, 3422 is the sequential write maximum there. And it has a whole range. And now we're gonna do the sequential read. So this one's a little bit faster. I'm just looking on the box to see if they give us a actual number. It's not saying a specific performance. Oh, this is the one that claimed read up to 7400 megabytes per second. Not quite. Uh, we're at 3,400 right now and a write speed of up to 6,500. So the sequential read came in on this one at 3,612. So you can kind of see performance is within a very small margin on these. So either we're bottlenecked or they're using very, very similar uh, architectures and chips, which I believe is the case. So we're doing a RAND write and we're getting about 1500 and the total is 1543. That's faster than the NV3. So that's really good to see that we're getting a little bit faster on the random write. We're gonna do the random read now. Perfect. And it came in at 1795, 1795. That's not bad at all. That actually worked out really, really well. So the performance on this one takes us into the lead in some categories. So that is from Team Group. I've been really happy with all my Team Group drives.